What if I told you that the best place for an advanced alien civilization to live is right next to a supermassive black hole? It sounds crazy, but astrophysicists now argue it might be the smartest location in the entire Milky Way. To understand why, we need to go back to Einstein. In 1915, his general theory of relativity revealed a strange truth. Gravity doesn't T just pull objects. It slows down time itself. The stronger the gravity, the slower time flows. And the strongest gravitational source in our galaxy is at the center, the supermassive black hole Sagittarius AR, containing 4.3 million suns. According to new calculations, time near this black hole runs 100 times slower than it does for us. A single year there equals a century here. For a highly advanced civilization, this would be a gold mine. Living close to Sagittarius A would let them explore the Milky Way in what feels like a short lifetime, while entire centuries pass for the rest of the galaxy. And the galactic center is packed with stars, meaning countless potential destinations. But there's a catch. Planets can't survive that close to a black hole. The tidal forces would tear them apart, just like scientists said about the fictional Miller S planet in Interstellar. So these hypothetical aliens wouldn't live on a planet. They'd live on lightweight space stations, able to withstand the extreme gravity. From there, they could launch starships that, when moving near light speed, could reach our solar system in just 260 years of their own time. And here, is the mind-bending part. This idea might even explain the Fermi paradox, why we see no signs of alien life. If their local time is slowed by a factor of 100, then from our point of view, they might launch a ship only once every few centuries, or even once every tens of thousands of years. We wouldn't notice anything. And of course, any civilization advanced enough to live near a black hole would be smart enough to hide its presence. So maybe the aliens aren't quiet, Maybe they read just living where time itself moves differently, at the very heart of the galaxy.